Вечер в хату, everybody! It's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna learn how to make fluorescent or neon lamps. I use this technique in my Phasmophobia video. The fragment of it you can see on your screens now, so I will leave the full video link below. And now let's jump into Cinema 4D. We're gonna start from creating the cylinder, orientate it on X axis and move it up a bit, then make it longer and thinner. And also let's change the segments to 32. Let's duplicate this cylinder and rename it as Cap. I'm not gonna cap any motherfuckers. Make it smaller, move it to the side, make it smaller again, and on the caps turn on the fillet, put it in a symmetry, and make a basic plastic material. This is too hard! Here's what I think of your test, Mr. Teacher! Then let's create the diffuse material and rename it as Lamp 1. Let's create black body emission in it, and let's tweak the parameters, make the temperature a little warmer, and power around 80 to make this lamp shine. Then duplicate this lamp and turn off the previous one, we will leave it only for a future comparison. Duplicate the lamp material after and call it lamp 2. Then apply it to lamp 2 object. This is gonna be our main material. Here we need to drag out the native Cinema 4D gradient and link it to our black body emission in the texture channel. Right click on the gradient and solid. In gradient node, if we're gonna play with the gradient markers, you'll see how we can control the black and white values. Let's change type to vertical and place black marker at start and second one in the end. Then duplicate the white marker and arrange these both markers the way the ends of this lamp fading away in the dark. Then you can unsolve the gradient. Looking good, the next step is to drag out the fell off. Let's link it to black body emission for now. And also solo it for we can see better what is going on. Play with the parameters to get white rim around the lamp. Then we need to invert this. Drag out the mix node, link the fell off in the amount. Then we need to create two flow textures nodes and link them to texture 1 and texture 2. On texture 1 we need to set our float value to 1, and on texture 2 we need to set our float value to 0. Then solve the mix node, and tweak the parameters in the falloff node again to get the black rim. By the way, if you know how to invert the falloff node better way, let me know it in the comments, I will really appreciate it. We're in the end game now. Now let's add the gradient between the black body and mix them solid and play the parameters the way we get dark line on the edges of our lamp. Then we need a paste multiply node between gradient and black body emission and link the previous gradient we made to the multiply node. That's it, let's compare the lamp 1 and the lamp 2. You can see how better the second option is comparing with a just simple luminance material. Also it will look way better in the close-ups if you make the similar shots I did. And, as usual, I hope you like it, enjoy it, learn something new, don't forget to subscribe my channel and ring the bell to not miss even more cool stuff. Also leave the comment below and let me know if you have better options to invert the falloff node because it's real problem in Octan render. Check my art station market when you can find a lot of cool stuff, like realistic rain shader pack, 6 neural surfaces, normal maps, in 4K resolution, advanced car rig tutorial that covers suspension leading, automatic wheels rotation, and dynamic trails creation, modular corn, and many more. And if you're my patron, you'll get a lot of extra bonuses and digital products for free, and all the tutorials project files. So be my patron, you can find the link below. And don't forget that half of your donations will be transferred to support Ukraine, that is very important now. So stand with Ukraine, Virtov Zasu, Tavsebude, Ukraina.